Hypertension is another common problem that makes pregnancies high risk. And there's really two big categories in my mind. There's sort of what we call pre-existing hypertensives. That's somebody that was already hypertensive, uh, had high blood pressure before they became pregnant. And then there's pregnancy-induced hypertension is one term for it. Preeclampsia is uh, another term. And that's uh, an issue with your blood pressure that happens later on after you become pregnant. And that's really a, a kind of a separate issue on its own. And I'm going to spend uh, a video just talking about that. So let's talk about essential hypertension or pre-existing hypertension. This is somebody that has high blood pressure the first day they come in for their first visit. Or somebody that's already been being treated for hypertension or knew they had hypertension before they got pregnant. And this does increase the risk of pregnancy for several reasons. If your blood pressure gets really, really high, it can cause a, a, a major problem and you could even lose the pregnancy. But even having high blood pressure that's, that's just mildly elevated throughout your pregnancy can affect changes to the placenta so that there isn't enough blood flow to the baby and can cause problems with the fetal growth and, and other developmental issues. So it's really important to control your blood pressure during pregnancy. There are many medications that we use for blood pressure. The ones that we use for pregnancy typically are different than the best ones that are used when you're not pregnant. So most likely, if you come in on medication, that medication will probably be changed. The most common medication we use in pregnancy is a medication called Aldamet, uh, which is a very old hypertensive medicine. Honestly, it's not a great hypertensive medicine. Very few people use this in the non-pregnant individual, but in pregnancy, it's got a long track record of safety and what we call efficacy, meaning that it works pretty well in pregnancy. And so Aldamet is usually the, me the medicine that we use first. We can also use what's called a beta blocker. Um, uh, Betalol is a common one, and that's another type of medication uh, that's used for uh, high blood pressure. And some of the beta blockers have a long track record of safety in pregnancy. And so that's something, uh, those are usually the first two line, first line agents, the first two choices. Most people use Aldamet, but some people will use Labetalol to treat your high blood pressure. Those medicines are very safe in pregnancy, so don't worry about them affecting your baby. The whole reason that we're giving them to you is to protect your baby from the high blood pressure. It's something that we're going to want to watch through your pregnancy most likely the amount of medicine you're going to need is going to increase because blood pressure tends to worsen with pregnancy. It's actually an interesting phenomenon actually. In the first trimester you have you know, sort of a given blood pressure. In the second trimester the blood pressure tends to go down a little bit but then it tends to come back up and sometimes even more so in the third trimester. So if you come in in your first trimester with high blood pressure chances are in the third trimester your dosage of medication is probably going to go up. Uh, don't worry about that. That's expected and typical. It's very important that you take your medication um, and follow the doctor's instructions. Uh, depending on uh, other things about your physiology, we might recommend a low-salt diet. Exercise is generally an um, important um, aspect of treating high blood pressure, but in some cases we may want you on bed rest instead. And so those are things that you're going to want to talk to your doctor about as your pregnancy continues with high blood pressure. For the most part, though, women with high blood pressure it's, are very easy to treat. Uh, and can have normal, um, healthy babies uh, without anything to worry about.